What's up everybody? This is James again, back with you with another video and uh, something new. Um, we have here the Case Trapper Locks Kickstart Edition. And the Kickstart Edition is uh, their assisted opening. So I actually think that's a gr this is a great pattern to uh, make assisted opening because um, this is the pattern that I went after when I worked at a warehouse and I needed a one handed opening knife. I got one of these, just a regular trapper lock. But these are the assisted opening. There's the spring there, you can see. And uh, this one's the peach seed jig bone and this one comes in uh, CV, which is Case's carbon steel. Um, these are pretty nice. They all have a um, pocket clip on the back. And I believe these are just like new. I, I, I haven't seen these many places. And um, I just, they're, they're pretty darn new. And um, I guess they were successful uh, with the mid folding hunter kickstart assisted opening knives. Um, so they went on to this. Um, this one is the pocket worn uh, red bone. Pocket warns are really nice. They spent a little bit more buffing time, and that's kind of how they get this really pretty smooth, you know, it's pocket worn. It looks like it's been in a pocket for way too long. <laughs> so, this one's a stainless blade. And this one is uh, your chestnut bone. Chestnut bone, and it's uh, jigged. Very nice. Beautiful brownish red color. Um, and it also has a pocket clip and this one's a carbon steel CV, uh, blade. So that is the new offering from case. And, uh, these are pretty nice. They're literally the same knife, same dimensions. Um, let's see four and something inches. Oh, not closed. Yeah, let's see four and a, about a quarter, four and a quarter. And, um, open here's what you're waiting for anyway open length let's just do it like this you're looking at whoop open length you're looking at about seven and a quarter they all have liner lock or yeah liner locks it's pretty good These are really nice, really polished up, these Pocket Worn. Pocket Worn series of all case knives are, like I said, they spend extra time on the buffing wheel. And they're just, and it shows. It's really nice. Um, really pretty. Has a uh, brass liners. Focus. Okay, brass liners. And you can see the spring there. Now these technically aren't slip joints, so obviously they're liner locks, and uh, so, but yeah, I like to open them. I like to push my thumb under and just kind of slide it underneath it, and it seems to work just fine. These have a really good polish on them. Um, I do notice that all of them have a little bit of blade play, and I think that's necessary to <laughs> make these things actually work. You can't really see on camera. They all have a little bit of side-to-side -side play, but if they were tighter, they probably wouldn't open as easy. So, this one, CV blade. And like I said, spring, brass liners, pocket clip. The CV blade is a carbon steel, so you definitely want to put a uh, coat of oil on it and uh, wipe it down every time you do use it. Very cool. Decent action. I mean, these things don't slingshot open like a Kershaw, for example. Um, but, you know, these are not a Kershaw. This is a case knife. And they do work. They function fine. I like, like I said, I like to just kind of squeeze underneath here. They open up. Um, I guess you could do it that way just as fine. Um, kind of learning curve, like with all things, but, um, yeah, they're, like I said, they're not like a Kershaw. These things don't slingshot open like pow, you know, 
Um, but you can see they do, they work. And they open and they lock. And that's what you want. I'm sure they probably can't make it too strong because of the design. And I'm sure there's a detent in here. If you look here on the liner lock, there's a little, little ball right in there. And I'm sure it goes onto part of the blade itself right there. And that's what kind of locks it closed. So that, if you can see that in there, right there. Right there on the liner lock piece. And it catches itself into that. And that's what keeps it closed. And I'm sure if they made a, more, a, a stronger blade it would probably kind of open up on its own so this is kind of the best as it gets um but you know what if case if you're watching i got a really good idea um how about a how about a cheetah automatic press the shield and the slingshot so pow that what that's what people want that'd be awesome that's the chestnut bone one here very nice knife these fit and finish on these are really good a lot of fit and finish on case knives in the last few months, about a year from now, has been really good. This was uh, also another favorite. This is their amber jig bone, or peach seed amber bone. And um, this one's a real favorite. It's a fan favorite. Everybody's been, you know, buying these for years. This is a, see the spring in there? And the brass liners, very nice. I do know that these are stainless steel these little thumb pieces here and uh, but this is a CV blade right there CV which is chrome vanadium chrome vanadium is carbon steel that's cases carbon steel so these two will definitely need oil put on them they're very nice liner lock very crisp opens very well love these things absolutely love them These things are sharp too. Excuse my fingerprints. But yeah, these things look great. You could kind of notice these have the, the larger brass pin here. And um, as opposed to a regular trapper lock has a smaller regular size pin, something like that. Very nice. So if you've been waiting on these, they're out. They'll get you one. Very nice, very nice. Honestly, out of these three, I'm gonna have to say that this one is my favorite. I just think it looks nice. I wish it was a carbon blade, um, but I bet you a lot of people don't because carbon is maintenance and some people don't wanna deal with that. Very nice. Excuse the fingerprints again. Yeah, stainless steel. They're true sharp surgical stainless steel. You can see when these are open that the spring are the spring is further into the body of the knife. Very cool, very cool design. Very nice liner lock. There you go. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, I'd say do it. The only thing that could be better than this is a automatic deploying cheetah. I like my background. <laughs> Figured I'd change it up a little bit. So yeah. I've had, I carried a uh, case trapper lock in a warehouse because um, back in the day it was actually one like this. And um, I would like it because I would open it up. See, I tried to open it up like the old fashioned way instead of letting it go. But I used to, you know, manually open it up and lock it back. And it worked good for years. And I wore it out. I tore the blade up, sharpening it so much. We'd use it for box cutters and stuff like that. And so, instead of using a box cutter, um, because this is way cooler than a box cutter. But man, if these were out back back when I worked at that warehouse, I would definitely have this instead. This was this is the king of the trapper locks now. Pretty cool. I guess I can't really do that enough, can I? 
very cool very crisp action is fine like i said they're not like a kershaw they don't whip out and almost fly out of your hand they're smooth is the best way to put it and functional very nice i love how they have the pocket clip because honestly this on the pocket whenever you know if you put it in your pocket this way and then it manages to find itself going this way and then it's uncomfortable so the pocket clip keeps it there plus it's pull it out it's already at red already at hand and boom deploy use what you need pretty cool so anyway check out my instagram i got some pictures on there and sell some knives and showcase some knives and check out my uh ebay too i got a couple of these for sale so if you're interested check out my uh ebay slip joint guys ebay and the link is in the description so this pocket worn red bone is nice i'm telling you absolutely look at that just an elegant knife honestly this possibly could scare somebody in the office pulling this out and, hey you know i don't know about doing that you might want to keep with the little slip joints if your office environment, you know, would frown upon something like this. But like I said, I worked in a warehouse and these these trapper locks are awesome for one hand opening. And now it's even easier. It's the closest thing you're going to get to a uh, switchblade from case. Like I said, I just stick my thumb in there and just kind of wedge my thumb and the finger between this and it works. You can also put your thumb on this and rock it out just as well. Really nice. Really nice, guys. Casey did a good job with this one. These are nice. Chestnut bone, where I mentioned I'm just recapping. Nice polish on these two. Very nice. Woo, almost knocked over the camera. Very cool. Anyway, if you like this video, subscribe and like it, thumbs up it, thumbs down it if you don't like it. And um, check out my Instagram and my eBay and leave a comment if you like these videos. As always, I thank you for watching and see you next time.